Hey guys, what's up? Telltale Games Game of Thrones came out today. I was really excited. I thought it I didn't remember it was coming out today. I was like focused on the crew coming out today. And then I was like, oh my god. I was really excited about this. I, I like all Telltale games. They're just fun. Kinda like, I don't know. I kinda think of them as like point and clicks, but uh, you guys wanted me to play this, a lot of you had asked me to do that, and since I wanted to, I am. <laughs> I'm also going to be live streaming today, probably when this goes live, so uh, just look in the description for a link to my live stream, and then once it's over, I'll just put the um, playback link in case you're late, or if you still want to watch it, um, but you can hang out with me there. I'll be playing The Long Dark, it's like a survival game. Actually, I might play The Crew. I'm not sure. Either the crew or the long darker games I'll be playing. But now we're going to be playing Game of Thrones. I'm excited. I clicked play on the first episode. I just wanted to make sure, like, everything looked okay. Because the graphics were kind of, like, going weird for a second. So hopefully it doesn't, like, I didn't, I clicked off right away. So hopefully it doesn't, like, it didn't save anything. I doubt it did. Um, I don't know what I'm, no, no, no. Play. I wanted to show you guys all the different episodes. So we have the Northerners will never forget Tyrion Lannister. Episode two, I'm the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall, Jon Snow. Episode three, Dracarys, Daenerys. And do the dead frighten you, Mr. Dead, <laughs> the White Walker. Uh, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die, Cersei. And they can live in my new world or die in their old one, Daenerys. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. No bitchy comments about the choices I make. That is always a problem with these games. People get too passionate about other people's choices. It's like, look, relax, it's a game. For thousands of years, House Forester has been loyal bannerman to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. Woo. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, my reading game was on point! Look at all these fabulous beards. Like, sometimes I wish I was a man so I could have a beard. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, oath breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north, and set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Oh, don't worry, I got this. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood Oh, click and, and hold, then drag. My bad, I was just shaking my mouse around. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. Oh, Ooh. yeah? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. Don't be an arse. I'm just a squire. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. But she don't even have a beard. I had Andy, you know. I kind of have one. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> silence. Strong silent type here. We're a little Someone shy. Never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Um... It's your job. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully Awkward. served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Oh, 
Fetch your coat. Tonight we celebrate. Ah, uh, yes. Do I get wine? Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. To Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the north! Oh! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Casterly Rock! Death to the yeah! Got it. Wait, I didn't finish my wine. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. Like I just wanted to drink my wine for a while now. Um, Something must be done with me, my with lord. me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Booze. Um. Uh, hmm. You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Song Your overdue, bitch. Um, <laughs> I won't Thank let you, you down. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Need to grow a beard like that. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Hmm, hmm. Do it yourself. I've been a squire longer than you, which means I outrank you. So? It's told you, not me. Go with Bowen. Aw, oh, man. I want to like be like, bitch, I'm not a squire anymore. Then oh, slap wine. him. Scrub my then armor, take wine. My boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Excuse Nothing me? is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? That's true. I, Shut your much. mouth. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. This guy's got a pig mouth on him. At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around the fucking... Not me, I got promoted. What a waste of fucking time. I'm sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. The twin stronghold of House for High, the Red Wedding. The Red Wedding? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. They're really gonna start us here. Everyone familiar with Game of Thrones Not is like the Red Wedding. No. His daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong?
has gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Bye, Bowen. Nice Bye. knowing you. R.I.P. I mean, I didn't want him to die, but seriously, I tried. We tried. We were like, we got to get the fuck out of here. Just wouldn't listen, though. Wouldn't listen. Now he dead. Oh, shit. No. I'm, like, throwing my mouse to the right. Which doesn't work. <laughs> what am I doing? I was just so scared. It's getting intense. Oh, he has nice hair. God. Click. Oh, right. No! Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Shoot this one! Nice try. But you done fucked up! <laughs> Thank you, lamb chops. <laughs> Alright. Was there an arrow there? That I missed? I might have just like been saying things. Oh, crawl forward to safety. My bad. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Q, 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 Q. Oh, fabulous hair. I thought he died. Roderick. Double you. Alright, good. Oh, this one's tougher. Ponies! Save the day! Or don't trample me. R.I.P. Dude, what are you yelling his name?! Totally distracted him! Oh! Jeez. <laughs> kind of feel responsible a little. Oh, all our friends are dead. It's like being the last dinosaur. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Um. Speak up, got it. The phrase. They, they slaughtered him, my lord. And horse fell on him too. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I Speak didn't leave him. I, I had to leave him. I did. I should have lied. Fuck! I should have lied. Find a way. <laughs> Why did I lie? <laughs> Sometimes it's just better to lie in life. Oh, yes. What happened to grabbing the sword, though? Oh, we're just like staring longingly into each other's eyes and shit like that happens. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Seven hells. We have, we to, keep have to keep moving. Get your well. ass up. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time's over. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, you're not gonna make it. 
Didn't see that one. Just saw the shoulder one. My bad. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's Believe no me. I'm down. sorry, I love you. Fall into the hearts of those traitors. What are the phrase You have to go. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. You can, and you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle, Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> oh, damn! We love the Mordenfrey. Okay, we need to, like, run. <laughs> Don't just sit and watch. He's like, get the fuck out of here, please, while I, like, you know, stall these guys. <laughs> Well, that was intense. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam. Wow, it was a little early. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Sorry. I can't stop. I'm excited. Episode one, iron from ice. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking in my bootstraps. All right, Forester Lands, the King's Road. What a shitty day though. Like, like I mean, maybe he expected that since, you know, whatever, he's part of the army, but the Red Wedding in general. What a shitty day. Shitty way to go out. Whoop. Oh. Uh-oh. Lord. Fresh. Lick it. Don't lick it. That's how you get diseases. Friend! <laughs> All right. Well, I don't need it. Click that. I'll right, just continue on down the road. Here's a broken up- oh, that was nice, just kind of like skipped me along, so I didn't have to walk as far. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Little young non-teacup piglet. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my... Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. I hate his haircut. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. Chitch, we have gone to the father first. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh man. Finish this fucking I was like, it's the start of the game. We can't possibly lose this fight. I still don't think we can lose it. Alright. 
Yeah, they are a pick. Yeah. <gasps> oh, baby. <laughs> Get it. Oh, you little shit. You shit hair. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Yellow swag. No, please! <laughs> Lord Whiteheel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Wait, we didn't kill this guy? We didn't kill that? Oh, please. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. Another shitty day. I'll kill the men who did this. Iron Wrath, stronghold of House Forester. Oh yeah, I forgot we got stabbed. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, delicious. <sighs> it's like... That's, that's disturbing me. days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The well, yeah, I mean, eventually. Is in lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. 
Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Me and my maggot friends. Go on. <laughs> Don't stop now. Ew, you'd feel them wiggling in there, right? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess at least I know now that maggots will help prevent infection. It's probably information I've been the avoiding my whole world. life. <laughs> oh, that's a pointy chair. All right. Do 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 do. You think they they should like have had a huge juicy steak ready for us after that ordeal? All right, I'm good. Oops, sorry. I turned around. Look at these medical supplies. Touch the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. You guys ever eat a maggot? I ate a dried maggot once. I wouldn't do it again. You could feel the little... the legs. Oh, no, that was bad. I think I did a video on it. I'm not sure how to find it. It was old. Oh, right, clicked it back out. Um, let's talk to him. Did your so, leg oh, we feel could show weak? the sword. It's no. Lord Forrester's. I just wanted to ask you. Who's the new lord of the house? Why did the Why White Hills hate, hate us? Hate the Foresters? I, I think it's everything. safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Sounds accurate. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Oh, yeah. He said that. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. So, can I leave now? What will what become will happen of me? To me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Yeah. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Can I leave Can I go now? now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Hey, bitch. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Bye. 
Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. It was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. Um... It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Oh, epic Garrett, scars. Garrett, you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. Kill them all! They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? What, girl? Duncan. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall. Oh, oh no! Nothing wrong. Not, Not the in wall. The eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now. The oh, house God. is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Man, that sucks. For You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Bye. Love you. Just disappear. <laughs> Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord White Hills' heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester Can I come back eventually? Now, put in the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. 
Didn't we have to tell him something? Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. Like the wife asked, I've but didn't we have to tell our right uncle? To tell okay, you. here we go. What? Um, what is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. Okay, but what is it? I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know no. that North Grove oh. may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. But what the fuck is Become it? Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Fucking hold this secret in. Do you know how hard it is to keep a secret? You don't tell me what exactly Iron the shit is? Ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. But I'm just gonna, like, sadly trot away on my horse. Oh my god, everyone's eyebrows are just like, it's so sad. Garrett, wait! Oh, thank you. What if we just, like, didn't take it? What if that was an option? Be safe. Thanks, love you, peace. Is she his age or like, I can't tell if she's like a younger girl or they're like the same age. 